Now let's create our Next.js app. So simply if you go back to the documentation for Verso and Next.js, which is something you always need to do if you don't understand something, they have a very good you know, documentation where they explain things in details. So for creating a Next app, there are a few ways to do that. So simply the easiest way as we do like with React app using NPX. So when you install Node.js, you get access to NPM, which help us install packages, but also get access to NPX, which help us run packages. So we can run this like in the terminal to create our next app. But if you want like something faster and you want to use like a different package manager like Yarn and PMPM, you can use them also. And if you don't know what Yarn and PMPM are, they're just simply a different package manager like NP like uh, NPM, but they have some differences like in speed of install and how the you know uh, manage the dependencies. So if you don't know if the, if you don't have Yarn or PMPM when you install them, you simply you can just install them using NPM. So simply for Yarn. You can just go and copy the npm install dash dash global yarn and then you can copy that and just paste it right here in the command prompt or terminal and click enter and it's going to install just make sure you install it globally and also you can do that in vs code also it's not a problem for pmpm the same thing npm install dash g and then pmpm and it's going to install and then you can use whatever method you want to install so let me open visual studio code i'm not going to install it directly from the uh, a terminal i like to do that from inside the visual studio code let me show you so i'm going to copy this which is yarn i'm going to copy that go back right here i'm going to open the folder that i want to you know have it there so i'm going to open folder for example in desktop we have next.js projects i want to have it there okay or here so as you see we're inside it now i'm just going to open the terminal you can just go terminal and the new terminal for windows Control g to open it as a shortcut i don't know for the rest you know better than me in that so I'm just going to paste this right here, yarn create next app, and then I'm going to make sure click enter. So it's going to start installing. And as you see, we have what is the name of your project. I'm going to just call it shop pay, for example, and then enter. And it's going to start installing all the necessary files for us. So let me wait a little bit till it installs, and then we can go back to continue explaining things. So this is done. You simply now, you see why it says success. We can now actually go and open the folder exactly. I don't want to have the folder inside another folder because if we have other folders, that's going to be too much. So I'm going to go file, open folder and actually go to Next.js project and open that folder exactly. So we can have it alone right here as a singular project. So as we have it right here, so you probably know all of this. I'm going to go fast on them. So you are taking a very advanced course, okay? It can be basic sometimes, but it's actually, you know, very advanced. So you must know a lot of the things that I'm going to say right now. So for the node modules, it's simply a folder that contains all the files necessary for our for our project to run. And it's going to hold all of our, you know, packages that we can import from there. In the page, in the pages, the difference between Next.js and React is that we don't need a React to DOM or something. They are already done right here. So I can create any pages I want right here. And by the name of it, it's going to be like forward slash that name which is something very simple and easy to understand and uh, you know that do that in very ex various examples so you can understand this also the second thing we have the api right here so we don't have a server you know that's separated from our application it's going to be in the pages and then we can create our route inside the epa folder so i'm going to go pages forward slash api forward slash any route we want and we're going to run our code there so this is going to make our work easier and for the public folder, it simply has some of the icons. You can have your images and other stuff right here. For these styles, we have our CSS. This is just for uh, just for formatting the code. Dot ignore is simply to ignore file you you don't want to upload. For example, to GitHub or any other you know platform. This is for the configuration. The package.json is simply hold some of the basic information of our application and the list of names and uh, the version of the dependencies that we have. Some of them is going to be only in div mode and some is going to be available also in production mode. For the readme, just simply some documentation and this is yarn.lag. It simply holds of all of our you know, dependencies that we install using yarn. So one thing that I want to mention very, very important is you don't need to mix between using different packages. So for example, in my projects, I want to use yarn, so I'm going to stick with that. Any package I want to install, I'm going to install it with yarn. If I use NPM, all packages needed to be installed by NPM. Or that's going to create some kind of complexity between, you know, dependencies and that's not good. So always use, uh, you know, a singular one. And then you can also open the terminal to run our projects. You can see it's in the package.json. To run the development mode, you're going to go 
npm run and then you can run in a script for my sudev for example and that's gonna run our project so we can see it in the browser so as you see right here it's gonna be available in the localhost 3000 similar to what we had in react.js so i'm gonna click control and then click on the link and you can see our application is gonna run right here so this is the home page right here which is simply what we have in pages we have this index right here so this is all we have there so let me just remove everything inside it okay from the main and the footer like that for example if we go back right now to the browser we're gonna see that it's empty and if we write, uh, wrote something like i don't know and each one is gonna say welcome okay i can write <laughs> So let me save that and go back and you can see that we have welcome right here okay and if you want to create another page i know this is very basic and i hate to do that but i'm just gonna do it so for example test.js and then rfc to create our page we don't need to import react simply i can go right here welcome from test and this is simply is going to be page forward slash test so i can go right here forward slash test without the need to have any you know package to do that for us we can access the pages easily so this was just like how to install like our projects and how to initialize it and run it so you can understand a few things we're gonna do a lot of advanced stuff but it all starts like uh, from a small uh, you know work okay so in the next video we're gonna see what we're gonna do okay i hope this is